Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go take a look and see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer is Ovila Saison. Guys, I've had this one for a while. Uh, it is a Saison, I think it's a collaboration beer that they did with some monks. Uh, let's see here, what do I got on it? A collaboration between Sierra Nevada Brewing and the monks of the Abbey of New Clairvaux, Ovila Abbey, Abbey Saison brings the centuries-old monastery brewing tradition to America. Oh, look. Ovila Abbey Saison is complex and contemplative, but also refreshing, dry, and drinkable. With earthy and spicy aromas, this rustic Saison has a note of green grass and a faint citrus tang. The body is light and layered with fruit and spice accents and a dry, peppery finish. A portion of the proceeds from this sale go toward the restoration of the historic Santa Maria de Ol Olivia Ol Oliva. O L I V A guys, Oliva Chapter House of the Grounds of the Abbey of New Claraval, Clarve. This uh, medieval building stood for nearly eight centuries in Spain. And such and such, William Randolph Hearst purchased the monastery in 31, planned to use his son's castle. His famous San Simeon. Though Hirsch plan crumbled, these historic stones will rise again in a California Cistercian Abbey. So, hmm, imagine that. Alright, guys, on with this show. These guys, like I said, uh, Sierra Nevada went with these, uh, went with the monastery here to brew this. This is a, uh, this is a Saison, I think I told you that. The ADV on this beer is 11, no, it's not 11%. The ADV on this beer is 7%. They're out of Chico, California, so, uh, it's one of my favorite breweries, and they're getting ready to, they're back, and I'm getting ready to, they're actually building a, a new brewery over here in Asheville, North Carolina, which is only about three hours away from here, so I'm looking forward for them to start producing and getting some good stuff here on the East Coast. Uh, it's a little closer and a little fresher than coming across the country. Uh, this beer, this beer, like I said, is a Saison slash farmhouse ale, limited edition, brewed one time only. Food prank of this cuisine is a curried and Thai, the cheeses of earthy Camembert, Martina, Nutty, Asiago, Colby, Parmesan, your more pungent cheeses, even Gorgonzola and Lemberger, and the meat is poultry, fish, and shellfish. So it's very similar to a uh, to an IPA as far as your stronger dishes and stuff. So the glassware is a pint, Becker, the Stein, the mug. A, uh, non ink oversized wine glass, a tulip. I got the Google Glass today, guys. And being a 7%, it's going to keep for a little while, but I wouldn't want to keep this morning. I don't need this, though. I wouldn't want to keep it more than about, I don't know, four or five years. I can't think of anything that would go away uh, selling it, but we'll see. A lot of times I can't get these corks off, so we'll see how this one goes. Oh, yeah, it's coming right off. Here we go. Kapoo, look at all that smoke. All right, into the glass we go, guys. So we're going to get a nice big head on this one. All right, guys. There's a bottle, and this is the big one. This is the 750. No, it ain't. I don't think it's quite that big. Let's see what the size of the bottle looks like it is here. Don't know if it has it written on here or not. Let's see. Looks more like a bomber. Yeah, 1.9.4 fluid ounces. So and it does have the 7% alcohol by volume on there. Uh, like I said, this was a brewed once beer, so uh, I don't know exactly when it was brewed with not having a date on it. Uh, very good looking beer in a glass, so look at the head on that. That's uh, almost two finger head. Over to the light, very orangey, tangerine in color. Very clear. A lot of bubbles streaming up, reinforcing the head. Big old creamy head on that one, guys. Let's 
get a nose on it. Definitely a Saison. You can smell the the farmhouse funk going on there. It's not extremely strong, but it's there. A little citrusy there, too. I'm getting some lighter fruit, maybe some apples, a pear, something there, but it's got that funk going on there. Maybe a little lemon zest or something in there. Kind of citrusy. Well, let's give it a taste. Cheers, everybody. Very citrusy. I'm getting some, I am getting some of that, yeah, barnyard or farmhouse funk. But it's, it is really pleasant. It's got a real citrusy, almost like apples and pears. Very light fruit, your lighter fruit. I don't want to say tropical, but your lighter fruit. Very pleasant, very, very pleasant. Yes, this is an excellent beer, guys. Uh, it's got a real easy drinking, almost, I'm gonna call it sessionable, but you, you're not gonna be sessioned on a bunch of these, because I think, they're, I think they're, they're very hard to come by now, like I said. I, I've had this one for a while, so uh, I don't even know if there's any of them still sitting on the shelf. So they've probably been scarfed up and drank by now. So people like me, they pick up these things and put them back in the fridge for six months, a year, or even longer than that sometimes. You, they'll get back in the back, and I, I don't know they're there. I forget they're there. And, each, and I try not to let the IPAs go back there, but a lot of times I even pull out one of those that's been back there past his prime. So that's why it's dating is so uh, we need to know. That a lot of times I'll put it back there and, I, and I'll get it out, and I don't know how long it's been back there. So uh, with that being said, uh, it's, it's, it needs to have that date. So we, we get up on that suck box just about on every beer that don't have a date on it. So uh, it's, uh, it's pretty tasty. So we're going to let it warm up. It's 40 degrees right out of the fridge and see where we end up with it. But I believe this is going to be a real good beer. Stick around. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. I've been sipping on this probably about 30 minutes or so. And it's just like uh, I told you yesterday when we did that beer. The first part of this I poured in there, and it's very clear. And the other half there I gave to the, the wife, and she poured in hers, and it was kind of cloudy and stuff. So there's really no way of getting all of it in there unless you were taking it and you're doing some kind of mixing back and forth or you're shaking it up or, or depending on whether you're wanting that sediment in, in your glass or not. So. Some people do, some people don't. In different beers, you do the wheats and, and the Belgians and stuff like that. But uh, it was very cloudy on the bottom half of the pour in her glass, is what I noticed. So I didn't do the mixing this time, so I'm drinking the clear beer. So uh, very nice, uh, very easy drinking for a seven percent beer. Uh, I'm, I'm getting the, the spiciness now that it's warmed up, and in the grassiness. Uh, very light fruit, like I said, pears or apples and stuff like that. Very nice, though. I mean, this is a very pleasant beer. Final chug, guys. I thought it was pretty tasty, though. I couldn't drink this every day, but very pleasant. Very easy drinking. This was the summer beer, and I'm pretty sure I've had this one probably about six months or so. So it's summered uh, for about six months uh, or so. I don't know exactly when it came out, but I'm thinking in the springtime since it's a summer edition. Uh, I don't have the IBUs on it, and I tried to go into the website, and the Nexus 10 proprietary system doesn't include flash, so it won't let me go to their site and, and look at it. So I tried going in the back way and looking at it, and it just didn't work, guys. So the Ovila site uh, won't let me in to, to look at any other information uh, that they printed out on this. So uh, very decent beer, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, the only thing, like I said, I, I like to have it printed on there, other than we have to know that it was a brewed once beer, and unless you're going to take the time to go to their website. So maybe they're thinking by the time they get, get around to dating some of this stuff I mean, we'll, everybody will have smartphones and tablets and laptops and carry them around everywhere we go when we buy a beer hmm, don't know about that, we'll see 
You may come to that. You may have to come to that. If they're not willing to step up to the plate, we may have to to, to do a little homework before we start buying beers. It ain't like you, you're going to go down and, and buy your fresh Budweiser, Miller, or Coors because uh, those distributors rotate that stock out and it doesn't happen in these private beer stores. Uh, when they buy it, if, if they overbuy, it sets there until it's sold. That's the way it goes. So, that being said, uh, guys, Beer Advocate, our great beer has 95 overall and 89 in the style. And uh, Beer Advocate comes up with 86 in their good range so I, I think it's an A beer I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give it to eight I think it's an A minus beer it's very decent uh, it's definitely above average beer uh, it's very nice very easy drinking very well made very tasty so with that being said guys if you had this the Vila Saison from uh, Sierra Nevada uh, give me some comments back on this and let me know what you think of it and, uh, whether you liked it loved it good stand it best thing you ever had I think that's my best thing. My refrigerator is my best thing. Let's go looking at tomorrow. Join me then.